I have so much respect for my competitors, but when people compare me to the other competitors, it really doesn't even faze me because I know I'm already going to win. Athletes want to compete at the CrossFit Games because it is the pinnacle of their sport. If you just get to that point, you are one of the 40 fittest people on the planet. I don't enter a competition thinking that I'm going to lose. Going into the CrossFit Games, my sole purpose there was to win. Coming into the 2022 season, Tia Toomey has a chance to stand alone in history, to be the first and only athlete to win six consecutive CrossFit Games titles. The question was like, how is she going to do it and what's that going to look like? I don't think it's going to look like years in the past where it's just win, 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 win. Toomey's back to zero. Oh no. And O'Brien is across. I do not care how hard I go, I'm just going for it. A horse will race so fast that if the heart explodes, that's now. For the first time in five years, we are going to get to see Ricky Garrard at the CrossFit Games. The last time we saw him was 2017. He finished third, and then he tested positive for PEDs. Seeing Ricky wearing the white leaders jersey, I think forced a lot of people to confront a question that maybe we hadn't really considered about what our feelings would be around the possibility of not only Ricky coming back, but winning. He dropped that, I was like, you're gone. Yeah. Everyone's just roaring for someone to see Ricky. <laughs> Rum Krennikov went into destruction mode. He just looked like a machine out there. I know you're hurt. Everybody's hurt, and you're tougher than everybody. You just get so hyped up, and you're like, I'm ready to attack this. This is going to be one of the most epic Saturday nights we've ever had. We've seen this before between Tia Toomey and Laura Horvath. He's got to keep his balance. He's got to keep his balance. Gerard will do it, and Medeiros will do it.